Hi, I'm Susie and welcome to my book nook. Here in my book nook, I want to introduce you to some of my favorite stories that are great for kids, teens, and parents too. And they're all going to be on two issues that I'm very passionate about. Caring for creation, our Earth's home, and social justice issues that are facing us today. I'm a member of the Episcopal Church in Omidon, and they've made it a priority that we reach out to our neighboring community and the community beyond, where we can offer information, support, and education, and resources for you. I'm privileged to be on their YouTube channel with my book nook. I hope you'll like it and follow us. So let's see, what do I have for you today? Uh, today's book that I'd like to share with you is called Just Ask, Be Different, Be Brave, Be You. And it's another book written by Sonia Sotomayor. You may remember that she is one of our uh, Supreme Court justices. She has written a wonderful, warm and inclusive story that it was inspired when she was seven years old and discovered that she had childhood diabetes. It made her a little bit different than other children because you see she had to give herself shots of insulin to stay healthy and she thought you know the kids she felt the kids thought she was different but they never asked her what she was doing or why she was doing that and it would have been helpful for her and maybe them to understand her better so she thought about this a while and she's written this book that shares with us challenges that kids face some are frustrating, uh, some are anxiety creating, all kinds of challenges that children, well actually adults, everyone faces, and wrote it as a story so we could learn more about those. And she uses a garden as an example. I mean, picture a garden that you know that's full of all kinds of diff beautiful flowers, different colors, or maybe a vegetable garden and all the different vegetables that grow and how they are one wonderful community in that respect. So she starts this story by sharing about her experiences and, and she says she needed to take medicine to stay healthy. And she wonders, do you have to take medicine to stay healthy? And the next young uh, mem friend she meets, Raphael, he does, he takes medicine to stay healthy because he has asthma. And to, uh, for asthma, he has to use an inhaler, which is a tool. And so he asks, hmm, do you need a special tool for, uh, to get around? And sure enough, he meets another friend, Madison, who has a wheelchair and has to get around that way. Well, maybe there are other ways that you get around. And guess what? He meets a friend named, uh, Oh, I don't remember his name actually, but he has a guide dog and that's how he gets around and he has, he can't see, he needs to use his other senses. And from one child to another, they ask something about them and maybe you need to use this too. And you'll discover children that have dyslexia, your autism, uh, Down syndrome, a whole menagerie you could say of children with all kinds of challenges but contribute to a wonderful community and that's how the, just like that garden everyone has something special to offer and maybe we'd all be better off if we started paying attention and learning more about how special people are with their differences Thank you so much for visiting with us today. I hope you've enjoyed the book that we selected. If you would like to hear more about that particular book and other books, because we do post one new every month on Susie's Book Nook blog, you just need to go to the Episcopal Church in Omidyn's website. And my cameraman will be sure that that is on the end of this presentation. The Episcopal Church in Omidyn is a nonprofit organization. And we do rely on our members and our community friends to help support the ministries that we do here, like this book nook. 
So if you would like to participate in helping us to continue to reach out to our neighbors and help them, please feel free to give us any size donation is welcome. And that button is on our website also. And did I tell you to follow me on our blog? I mean, on our YouTube channel that this is happening on? If not, please do. 